I'm back at my mullet spot in Plymouth again, hopefully getting a bigger one today. Using the same setup, Pen Pursuit 4, 15 pound mainline, rip tied, eight pound trace, and then just a little bit of bread on a small size eight hook. And we're floating it on the surface and hoping a mullet just comes and picks it up. I'm here on the low tide, so I've got a good few six hours until the high tide, and they like to come in the high, so I'm hoping a few come in. I haven't looked to see if there's any mullet about with my head torch because I didn't want to risk spooking a big shoal. They haven't been here. I was here yesterday and they weren't here. I fished all day for mullet and there was nothing. So maybe, maybe they'll come in on feed tonight. I just noticed something on the surface. I have no idea what it is, but I'll try to get it. it. Looks like some sort of eggs or something, but it seems to be moving. Let's have a look. I have no idea what it is. Let me turn my torch down. I don't know if you can see it. Let me get out of the net. I have no idea what they are, but they seem to be breathing. Are they some sort of like juvenile cuttlefish or something? If you know what they are, please tell me in the comments. They seem to be breathing. Let's get them back now, though. As I was putting them back, I just noticed a little duo of mullets. So I'll see if I can get them on video. They're just here. I'm going to try to drop my rod down here and see if I can get one. But they seem to be moving. Just found this little nice velvet crab, velvet swimming crab. It was just by the wall. So I decided to net him. There was also a nice lance in the water that I was going to try and get, but he swam off before I was able to, able to get him. You see him bubbling away. <laughs> all right, let's get him back in the water. He's the right size. There's my hand. There we are. Managed to get the little sand eel. There he is. Just netted him on the surface real quick. In the comments, let me know if he's a lesser or greater sand eel. If you do know, I reckon he's a lesser. I don't know the ID indications on them, but he looks like a lesser to me, if I can even get him. Very green, silver on the side. And quite small or big if he is a lesser. I was just onto a mullet about five pounds in weight and it shook the hook. It must have only just been hooked in the lip, but he looked about five pound plus. So I'm gonna try, probably spook that one, but I'll see if I can get another one. I must have only just hooked that fish in the tip of its lip. Um, big fish just jumped over there. I don't know if you heard it. Um, there's been a lot of movement. That's the second bite I've had, but that's the one that hooked up. I don't know if it was the same fish, but he came steamrolling out of those pontoons there and just took my bait instantly. Um, we'll see if we can get another one, but I think he must have just only been hooked, like tip, tip, tip of the lip, because I was fighting him for about 20 seconds and then he just shook it really easily. Just a few minutes later, I got a mullet in the net. I'm not sure on the size. We'll get it weighed and I'll get it, show you it. Look at that, about three pound five. What a beautiful fish. Great fight as well. Look at him. Absolutely beautiful. I was very lucky to land that fish because it was only hooked in the cheek. So it's definitely not the one I saw before. The one I saw before was a lot bigger. Definitely five pound plus. Maybe he'll come back. He probably won't, but let's see if we can get another one. What we have right there is a little, very small Atlantic squid. And there's a shoal of fish just underneath them. Yeah, tiny Atlantic squid. And loads of these little bait fish. I think I'm just gonna end today on a high. I've only fished for a couple of hours. I've had decent fish, so I'm quite happy. Although I did lose that bigger one, but shit happens, eh? I'll go back now, edit this video, and I'll get it out to you tomorrow, hopefully.
Anyway, if you did like the video, please do like, subscribe, and I should be back with some more videos soon, maybe on the Bass and the Rays.